Welcome to the Work With Purpose podcast, the show that gives you advice, education, and encouragement for your career journey. And now, here's your host, Randy Mahoney Jr. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Work With Purpose podcast. I'm your host, Randy Mahoney Jr. I'm so glad you are joining us today. Uh, If you're new to our show, we have new episodes that are live on the first Friday of each month during the time that we have our seasons. Also, we put out what are called podcast update episodes or pod update episodes. Those will tell you when we take a break uh, between seasons and things like that. And as you listen to us today, I would invite you to subscribe wherever you're joining us so that you can stay updated whenever we put out new episodes and uh, things like that. So wherever you're listening, be sure to click subscribe so that you don't uh, miss a thing. Also, consider leaving a rating or a review for us on uh, iTunes or Apple Podcasts for our show. When you do that, it helps others connect with our show. Uh, So thanks in advance for doing that. So this month, it's a little different than what we normally do. I don't uh, have a specific topic for you. I'm bringing you a bonus this episode. And um, this comes from an interview that I had the privilege to do on the Jay Cooper Travels podcast back in January of this year. Um, So I think you will enjoy it. In this episode, I share a little bit more about how uh, my podcast, the Work With Purpose podcast, got started in uh, 2021 and early in late 2020. Also, I share about uh, my day job and then a couple of a couple of pieces of advice for uh, for you if you want to work better in 2021. So if you have questions about uh, myself, how the show got started, I think this interview will be a great resource for you. So without further ado, here is my interview on the Jay Cooper Travels podcast. Hi, everyone. Uh, this is Jackie Cooper with Jay Cooper Travels. And today I have a really special guest. I'm super excited to be sharing more about him in just a quick second. For those that might be new to my podcast, um, let me just share a little bit about the vision and why um, I created Jay Cooper Travels. Uh, my background is I'm an attorney, but I did a career switch about 18 years ago, and now I'm in special education. And I love working with kids and I also love helping others. And I've also learned over time that um, you can make a lot of changes in your life, both in your career as well as your personal choices. And one of the things that I ended up doing a number of years ago is I started different businesses because I knew that it was important for me to have different streams of income. One of them being in the travel area. And we're going to talk a little bit more about travel um, because I love to travel. I love to meet people and I love um, networking with um, individuals both here in the United States as well as um, around the globe. Um, But I also realized that um, because of what's been going on in the past year, that we travel in so many different ways. We travel both um, geographically, but we also travel in our own personal journeys, both um, in our career and our family life and our spiritual life. So I am inviting various um, individuals on to share their stories and also to, um, you know, possibly give each individual who's listening a little bit of inspiration uh, to help you make decisions that bring your in your life um, the joy and happiness that everyone deserves. So I have today Randy Mahoney, and I'm really excited to have him on today because he actually is a fellow podcast producer. And this is the first time that I've actually had the honor of having someone else um, be on the podcast who's also familiar with the process. Um, how are you doing today? Jack, I'm doing great. Uh, thank you for having me. Yeah. So I'm really, really excited to have you here. Um, so explain to everyone who's listening um, what your podcast is about. And for those that don't know, with a podcast, as well as my YouTube channel, um, there's a little block of information underneath. So even if we share contact information while we're talking, and if you don't have a pencil, if you're driving, you're listening, you can always find uh, the contact information in the block below. So that way uh, you can reach out and um be able to listen to um, to other things, other podcasts. So tell me more about your podcast. Sure, sure thing, Jackie. So uh, my podcast, it's called the Work With Purpose podcast. Um, it is a, a seasonal, season-based career podcast. Um, I produce uh, episodes once a month. They come out on the first Friday of every month. And my goal with the show is to uh, provide listeners advice, education, and encouragement for their career journey. Um, another way I like to think about it, too, is I want to bring any listener, um, added value, 
how to encourage them or affirm them in their career journey within the span of 20 or 30 minutes. So I try to, you know, really uh, work a lot to, to make career information, you know, bite-sized, practical, helpful, um, and things like that. So that's a little bit about uh, my show. I like that. I like that a lot. So when did you start it? So uh, my first episode was in the start, actually the start of this year in 2021, but it really uh, started, you know, from fruition back in October of last year. Um, you know, I, this, this has been a dream that had kind of been in my heart, um, you know, thinking about uh, how can I, how can I use my gifts, my background? I studied a little bit in media arts and communication in college, worked for uh, my college's radio station and things like that. So how can I take, you know, those talents, but also come back to as how can I serve people with it and really, you know, affirm people and help them work better. Um, because uh, this really focus for my life really started back in, you know, 2017. For a lot of my college education, I thought I, um, you know, I thought that I'm, I'm a Christian. That's the lens I look through. That's how I coach people and things like that, too. Um, so I really thought that God had had a calling for my life to be a pastor in a local church setting and kind of be creative with in a media arts pastor type of thing. But um, around about 2017, just reality hit, you know, that was, you know, graduating and graduated in 2012 years after that, worked a lot of what I call get by jobs. So jobs just to pay the bills and, and things like that with loans and stuff like that. Um, and so through that time of just soul searching and, and other internships and everything like that, you know, I really landed on the landed on the idea that, you know, really my purpose is to really encourage people and help them work better. And I've, I've seen that theme played out in my life a lot of different ways. Uh, so I'm a part-time podcaster right now, but for my day job, I have the privilege to uh, teach special education students. Um, and really, so I, so I do a lot of this teaching about career skills, developing resumes, practice job interview questions and things like that too. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of overlap. Um, but the podcast started in October of 2020 when I got a uh, generous donation on a, on a website that I used to support the show. And uh, it, that helped me buy equipment that helped me pay for hosting and all the all the things like that. And so since then, I've just been planning and trying to really trying to think about how can I bring value to my listeners to really serve them? Um, because I think back of where I was in my darker times of like, man, what's the what's the focus of my life and what where, where can I go to to bring my gifts and my talents, and my strengths to really uh, help help people be better? Yeah, no, I, I think that there's definitely a need uh, for for your podcast. Um, and I know that there, you know, with what's been going on in the past year, there's been a lot of soul searching that many people have had as to how can they, um, what can they do? Um, many are not as fortunate as, as you and I who have teaching positions. Um, you know, uh, many are, uh, have been left off because of, um, the, the COVID situation and that's put a lot of stress and, and, but it also has created a lot of opportunity too, because it means that even though it might be temporarily difficult, it gives people sometimes choices and options that they wouldn't have maybe been open to in the past. Um, and, and that can be a good thing. I know when, um, I had um, one income pulled out from under me when I was younger. It made me really think hard and long as to um, how did I want to um, create stability. And um, I love working for myself, but I also love working within a system too. But I know that even if you work in a system, that doesn't mean your job is secure. So I, that's why I always try to have a plan B in case, um, you know, the primary plan, something happens to it. But again, um, I think what you're doing is phenomenal. Um, so in terms of um, your work with high school students with disabilities, tell me more about that, um, because I know that that's close to my heart, too. Sure. Well, you know, I'll, I'll say the um, I'm privileged. I work for uh, for a local nonprofit organization and um, how how my work with high school students with disabilities happens is that we have uh, a contract to work with various high schools in our in our area. And we work with special education students who have, you know, say an IEP or a 504 different structures within their high school setting to help them be successful as a student. And we come in and we provide what is called pre-employment transition services, or you might hear it in circles called pre-ets. Um, and so I, I and I help lead a team of two other career coaches who do the same thing, but we work with special education students who are from 14 years old to 22 years old. And our job is 
uh, to really go a little bit deeper than maybe their special education teachers or other resource teachers have time to just because of the nature of how many students they serve class sizes and you throw in a pandemic and other things on top of each other um, we have a chance to really i think meet a need and really help students um, with disabilities but also their families think about planning for the future like what like what will their child's adult life look like after high school's over and to really try to take proactive steps to get there um, so that's that's kind of the thirty thousand foot view of what i do um, we have a chance to work with students all throughout the year um, and I, I have done this work uh, for nearly uh, nearly three years now so are you helping students um just in your state or does your organization help students out of state as well sure yeah so um so with my uh my organization that i work for we serve um just counties near us um so in our case in indiana we serve uh, just maybe two or three different counties but i will say our our uh, nonprofit organization is part of a larger collaborative of other agencies all around our state here in indiana and um so that's kind of how how we fit into that that's great. That's great. I know here I'm in Maryland and uh, we also have um, supports and services for students that are um, looking at the transition side of it, which is the career side for those that might not be in the education field. And uh, what you're doing is really needed because you're right. When you're in the education side of it, doing the academics, um, that's different than sometimes career planning that, you know, because how you develop a resume or how you look at, you know, creating a bank account or just some of the daily life skills that when you're out and about and uh, doing a job, um, you learn, you, we learn, we learned it as we did it, but now it's important for individuals um, to kind of get guidance on that. So, um, so that's great. Um, in terms of, um, one or two things that you think the job seekers need to know going into the rest of 2021 what what's your um your vision and what do you think that they should be thinking about you know i mean you brought up a really good point when um you were talking about the lay of the land now for for people in the wake of 2021 coming out of or still in the midst of COVID 19 that sometimes you know historical moments like this in our in our time can bring whether people were fur furloughed from jobs and stuff like that, it can bring people to a place of really assessing themselves in an honest way. So I, I think what I would say to, you know, anyone listening who might be not liking the job that they have right now or uh, struggling to, you know, think about or, or struggling it because they got laid off and wanting to find out what's next, really, really take this time and for take this time for reflection um, and think about what, in the long view of your life in the next 20 to 30 years what kind of work do you want to be doing what would be really take take inventory of your skills and your talents and your gifts because you know if, if you're listening to the sound of my voice you are a person who has purpose you are a person who has those gifts and the world the world is hungry for that the world the world needs people who who don't who are passionate about the work that they do they don't need another person just strolling to an office um, and just staying it safe and, and riding the, the wave until retirement. A joke I like to use is that the, the days are gone where people work at the same company for 45, 50 years and get the gold watch. I think that there's a lot of research to that and that's changing. But that I think that would be the one thing that I would send to the listeners to encourage them is take this time to really get clear. And if you haven't been intentional, haven't been thinking about a plan for your career, make, make, a, make a plan now. And even, even if you have a job right now that you might not like, think about what skills you can learn in this job that you have right now that can help you get to that next place you want to be. I, I, I definitely agree. And um, personally, um, I have, um, I've navigated many different jobs, like you said. I've done the jobs which were simply to pay the bills. Uh, because I also wanted to um, maybe do a passion project and do volunteering. So I had to kind of make some choices there. Or, um, you know, I, I, I'd worked as an attorney, um, but then I decided that I needed to um, get retirement, you know, and so that's why I transitioned into education. Um, you know, but I also took a look at um, the fact that I didn't have an education degree. So how how would I get that? And in the area of the county that I'm in, 
they at um, they had a resident teacher program, which um, uh, has been uh, changed now, but they paid part of the master's degree. So that way I could be working and teaching. And, um, you know, so there are programs out there where if you even if you're not sure where you want to go, think about what you don't want to do. And from that, eliminate what you don't like. Like I knew that it would be really hard for me to have a traditional nine to five job. It would be really hard for me to be um, in one space. I like to move around. I like to do a variety of things. So I looked for a job or a profession um, which would give me the ability to be creative. That would give me the ability to help others. And also that would give me the ability of mobility. And so the special ed field does that because I'm learning about brain science all the time. I'm being creative and working with the kids to think about how can I help them in a non-traditional way. And I get in my job, uh, my position, I'm able to go from different classrooms. So I get variety from that perspective. So you're right. When you are pushed sometimes to the wall, we're thinking, okay, I now have to make a choice. Uh, sometimes it's a temporary choice of what you're doing to get the income in, but the long-term choice, um, sometimes you actually, it's a gift and it's an opportunity. No, that's, that's a really good point on that. Yeah, so I see in, in my notes from you um, that you've made a career tutorial video. Uh, tell me more about that. What is that? Sure, sure. So that's um, that's something that I uh, developed and put together a couple of months ago. It's called um, it's called the occupation card sort uh, career tutorial video. It's an activity that's you know it's used a lot with different um, you know career coaches and things like that. It's nothing you know nothing new, but. Um, I wanted to take just a really common activity that a career counselor, career coach might use um, to really help people get clear about what 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 do they value in in a job, what do they value in a company, and so it kind of works in line with um, with uh, the activity where you have you have a list of maybe your top twenty uh, work different work values, so things that are important to you. Like let's say you you might desire that your pay is the same between you and your coworkers, or you value that. Um, you have support of your manager or leadership at work, or you value having steady employment throughout the year, different things like that. But what the video does, it kind of walks you through what that activity is, talks about the six, you know, universal work values that, you know, if you do a Google search for that, you can find those, but it really takes and explains that activity, really helps uh, viewers see why does this activity matter? Why should it matter to me? And really, I created that to help you know, resource listeners to help them get clear if, the, if that's a that's a pain point for where they were uh, in their career journey. So, um, again, for everyone who's listening, the contact information will be definitely in the podcast below. But um, if someone wanted to find that resource and also to connect with you, uh, what's the website and how would they find you? Sure. So I would say uh, the a really good home, uh, the home base for the Work With Purpose podcast, uh, you can go to www.wwpcast.com. Uh, that's kind of our home base uh, for the podcast. Um, the easiest way to find the career tutorial, if you go to wwpcast.com slash shop, um, it'll give you a, a link and a button to click on. If you click on that on our shop page, it'll bring you to uh, the website to get access to that video. So again, for everyone who's listening, all that will definitely be in the, uh, the block below. So, um, you'll be able to access it. And I also know that you're offering individual career coaching services on a limited basis. Um, tell me more about that. Sure. So this is, this is something, um, that, uh, you know, I, I took some feedback of people who are, you know, are on my email list or people who have listened to the podcast. And I wanted to see, uh, ask them a question and just say, Hey, if I offered career coaching to you, one, how much would you expect, you know, maybe pay for something like that? Are you interested in it? And the feedback I got was that there is, there is some interest for kind of more one-on-one -on -one, uh, career coaching. So this is, um, I'll say this is something that I take, uh, that I'm, that I can take on a limited basis right now. So if you have, if you have listeners that are interested, um, I offer uh, at least a couple different coaching packages and some things like that. Um, to really help people um, where they are with every, I'll say this too, with every uh, interested coaching client, I do offer a free consultation to kind of get to know, we get to know each other. We see, hey, would I be a good fit if you wanted to do career coaching like that? 
and then um, from there we we can kind of you know somebody would choose a package to you know and uh, to work with me and things like that. So if you uh, if you have listeners listening, they can actually send uh, me an email at wwpcast at gmail dot com and just make sure that you put career coaching in the subject line so I know what that is and if uh, and then we'll kind of go from there. That sounds great. So. Um... So we've talked about a lot today. We've talked about, you know, how you're helping students and how you're helping adults and also um, just, you know, overall great career, um, you know, thinking about where the next next step might be. I know personally, um, one of the my passions is travel. And one of the reasons why I'm passionate about that is because of the diversity of people that I meet, as well as um, just learning about different countries and cultures. And um, that's something that obviously, you know, everyone is um, missing right now. And I know that, you know, more and more people are doing road trips. Um, and that's something that J. Cooper Travels actually is going to be featuring. Um, we're doing road trips to different cities. So that way we're going to interview different mayors. I've interviewed four so far. I'm really super excited about that. Um, I know you and I were talking about um, your bucket list trip. Um, where, When we start to move around again, where do you want to head um, and go with your travel? Sure. Well, I would say my bucket list trip has to be at least like a week or more stay in Seattle, Washington. So, uh, Jackie, you know, you and I were talking about this before we recorded today, but um, I'm, I'm a big coffee person, so love love Starbucks, I'm a gold member, all that stuff. So uh, Seattle is where Starbucks started. So I would love to go and visit the mountains there, uh, do maybe do some hiking with my wife and just have some fun there, uh, visit Pike Place Market and where the uh, first Starbucks is and everything like that. So that would be that would be my bucket list trip. Yeah. If I had known that you were going to mention Starbucks on the podcast, I would have brought down all my little Starbucks um, little coffee mugs because I have a collection. Every place that I go, whether it was to China or to Europe or other places, um, I don't get a lot of knickknacks, but if I can, I'll get one of the little um, demi tasks, the little the little mini coffee cups mm-hmm. that have the the name on it. So because that's easy to travel with, but it also is a great memory. So um, and I would have toasted you. <laughs> so um, so again, why don't you share one more time where people can find you um, so uh, they can reach out to you for both the uh, consulting as well as possibly the other tools you have. Sure. So uh, so if you want to connect with us with the Work With Purpose podcast, our website is uh, www.wwpcast.com. Um, if you're interested in career coaching, uh, you can send an email to that, that same place, wwpcast at gmail.com, and just put career coaching in uh, your subject line. Uh, you can find us on Twitter at WWPCast. Um, you can find us on Facebook. Uh, we have a, you go to Facebook, you can search for the Work With Purpose community. That's our uh, private Facebook group for listeners of the podcast. So those are kind of the main main key places people can connect with us. Yeah, no, that's great. That's really great. Um, for, for both my listeners as well as your listeners, um, be sure that you like and subscribe to the podcast that you like because – by liking and subscribing, you're, one, you're helping um, the podcast person who's creating it, and you'll also be able to follow along on new episodes as they get pushed out. So definitely, uh, for everyone who's listening, like and subscribe to both of our podcasts because that, that shows you know support for what we're doing in our various uh, paths. And uh, one last gift for everyone who's listening, um, I do have access to a wholesale travel booking platform that is free to access and you can save up to 35% on your travels. Um, The one reason why I do mention this is because every time you activate the free portal, the foundation associated with the portal actually donates uh, meals to families in need to both Mana Relief and Children International. So over the last year and a half, we have fed over 4 million families. So just, you know, if you're thinking about traveling, check it out. Um, the, the, uh, the rates on there are less than Priceline and Expedia, and there's 110 price match guarantee. So all that will be in the, um, the information below. Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate your being here. Any last minute thoughts that you want to share to listeners? Uh, yeah, I think the only thing I would say is that, um, you know, if you're listening, your, your life matters and life is too short for you to not 
uh, work in line with your unique strengths, your unique gifts, and your unique talents. I think that's a great way to end this because I totally um, agree with you. Uh, Follow your passion, follow your heart, and find something that brings you joy in life. So anyway, thank you so much for being here, and I know that we'll talk again. Have a great one. All right. Thanks so much for joining us on this bonus episode of the Work With Purpose podcast. Uh, Remember, this was featured from the Jay Cooper Travels podcast. If you want to learn more about uh, her show and a little bit more about uh, Miss Jacqueline Cooper, you can find details about uh, how to connect with her in the application guide for this episode. You can find that at our website, www.pcast.com. Again, our website, www.pcast.com. Dot com. You definitely want to check that out. All right. So until next month, when uh, when we bring you a new episode, uh, I want to say thank you so much for listening. And uh, remember, you were made with purpose, so work with purpose. We'll see you soon. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the Work With Purpose podcast here on YouTube. If you found this episode helpful, if it encouraged you, please click the like button, the subscribe button, and hit the bell icon here on YouTube so that you can stay in the know when we update new episodes and that you don't miss a thing. Also, be sure to check out our website at wwpcast.com. That's kind of our home base for everything. So until next time, I'm Randy Mahoney Jr. telling you to work with purpose.